Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Mary. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Catchpoint. But I'm not going to talk about monitoring. I'm going to t tell you a little bit about my summer. So I went to Velocity in Santa Clara. Ended up going after to Monitorama in Portland. Great donuts, by the way. Um, highly encouraged for if you guys are foodies. But one of the things I noticed in those two conferences is the fact that we are talking more and more about our data. So, uh, and it really scared me. So I think we need to start talking about how to do a better job than just collecting data, because it's easier. So obviously, uh, technologies to gather data, the, the stats these, the collect these, uh, storage, cheap storage, cloud storage, has really uh, allowed us to um, to turn on the fire hose and to collect as much data as we can. And I think that's a, we're, we're in a dangerous trend here. So I brought with me some examples. Uh, I mean, obviously, these are huge companies. But the fact that these guys are collecting 2 million time series. Uh, so this is Netflix. We have, uh, uh, this is Facebook. I don't think even their hard drives can keep up with the number of inserts they're doing. Um, the other one is obviously Google, billions of measurements. Etsy, same thing, and the list goes on. Um, actually, this one I like because there is the concept of observability team. That's something that I've noticed more and more is team that are dedicated to observing data. So again, 170 million metrics. Um, Spotify. The problem is like 95% of those metrics I never even looked at. And this is talking to a lot of the same folks that share some of these stats with the, with the industry, 95% of that data is never looked at. But we want to store it, and we want to store it for years. I spoke to a, a company in Portland where they were spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on AWS storage bills just for their monitoring data. I don't want to be the CFO of that company, I'll tell you that much. So we need to stop comparing the sizes of our monitoring databases. I think that's a dangerous trend. Uh, this is not a contest. Nobody's going to come and give us a medal that says, hey, great, your monitoring database is now 10 times bigger than actually our, our, the database running our business. Here is a, a price. Congrats. Um, we need to figure out, and I think that's the danger uh, to keep our jobs a little bit more relevant, is we need to start thinking business. What's the ROI of a monitoring tool? And again, I'm running a monitoring tool company. So, uh, and we really need to start talking about those things. How did I save the day? How did I improve the business? How did I, whether with a chat bot or not, how did my engineering team and my ops team were able to work together better and improve either the reliability, the speed, the, the resiliency of, of those things? But we really need to stop talking about terabytes and petabytes of monitoring data being collected, and business, how did we solve a business problem? So anyway, um, we have a talk this afternoon. Uh, so this is my plug uh, around this. Uh, come and join us. We're going to explore and, and have a frank discussion around how to, how to solve this problem, uh, which I think is just going to get worse. I mean, the internet is getting more complex. We just talked about serverless computing and whatnot. Uh, all this stuff is generating more and more data. <clears throat> and then you add on top of that all the devices, or IoT devices in some cases, this is going to be insane. So thank you so much. Um, I don't know if you guys have any questions. I have still one more minute before I jump out. But <laughs> if not, enjoy the rest of the show, guys. Thank you.